right thing, lady. Shut up! Put these on. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Anything I want. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I'm afraid Frank's tied up right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What's going on? Oh, he's arriving. Ah, oh, Christ. Come on, get me out of these things. Damn. <laughs> Come on, Chantel. There's no time for games. Get me out of these things. There's always time for games, Frank. All right, all right, all right. Okay, look, I'll, I promise I'll do the Peruvian sheep herder thing if you just let me up. Now, come on. Oh, Frank, Frank, Frank. You know, I wonder what the future president of the United States would think if he finds you cut to his bed. This is not funny. Ooh, his head of security. Damn it, huh? Chantal. Um, Uncuff me. Damn it. Uncuff me. Oh, Frank, there, 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 there. there. Oh, everything's so serious. Get back here. Have fun, Frank. Chantal! <laughs> damn it! God damn it! Listen carefully, this will be the last time I can contact you. We've got to stop Reed Hawk. Everything you need is in the apartment. You've received the dossiers on the different family members, and the video cameras set up and ready to go. If you can get incriminating evidence on tape, call the police. But make sure it's solid. This will be our last chance. Look, this guy's capable of anything. Maybe you can figure out a way to warn the family members if they're in danger. But for God's sake, be careful. The future of this country's at stake. We're counting on you. Will he or won't he? This is Tish Van Alden, and that's the hot question on everybody's lips during this primary season. Billionaire bachelor and business genius Reed Hawk has yet to commit himself to the race for the Oval Office. Well, hang on to your hats, folks, because he's gathering his flock this weekend to help him reach a decision. And when the Hawks get together, the feathers are bound to fly. I mean, imagine how his son Zachary must feel after his sudden promotion off the Missile Defense System project. Just in time for it to propel dear old dad into the White House. Getting a little chilly in daddy's shadow, Zach? And there's daughter Jessica winging her way in from Japan with a new bow and their own unique brand of environmental capitalism. Well, you may be a big success back in the land of the rising yen. But really, Jessica, considering your father's America first ideals, isn't this just asking for trouble? And of course, Reed's sister Margaret will be there to stake her claim to first ladydom. But Margaret, dear, please show some restraint. Rumor has it you're already shopping for your inaugural gown and planning the ball. Well, you better plan on trouble if your daughter Chloe shows up sporting her usual leather look. My God. Reed has paid a fortune trying to keep his niece's escapades out of the tabloids. Can you imagine what it'll cost him as president? Oh, wouldn't you just love to be a fly on the wall and listen in? Yes. Uh. Now we've gotten word that Reed Hawk is arriving at Hawk Manor. We go live to Jay Jacobson at the scene. Mr. Hawk, Mr. Hawk, sir, how do you feel about being ahead in the latest presidential polls? Sounds like folks are ready for a change, doesn't it? Your missile defense shield has virtually ended the threat of nuclear war, but does that make you the best man for president? Never said I was. I leave that to the people to decide. Come on, Mr. Hawk, isn't it a fact you've already decided to spend whatever money you have to in order to buy this election, sir? Excuse me, uh, I don't think I know you. Jacobson, Channel 6. Well, Mr. Jacobson, 
my family always comes first. Uh, we're going to spend the next two days talking it over, and then I will decide about accepting the people's mandate. Now, if you're asking me, is the future of our country and the welfare of our children worth my risking my personal fortune? The answer is a resounding yes, it is. Okay? Have a great weekend, folks. Still no decision from Reed Hawk. We'll bring you further reports as this story develops. Here are the files you asked for. Jacobson, Channel 6. Find some dirt on him. I don't care what it takes. I want him ruined. I'll get our people on it. Reed, I don't understand how the press found out about our being here. Honestly, it's I could all just... right, Margaret. Don't worry your pretty head over it. We have a campaign staff now to deal with the media. Reed, this, this is not the tie I picked out to go with a suit. It's the tie the image consultants chose. <laughs> But it's not a good color for you, Reed. Margaret, my ever-concerned sister, we have to start thinking presidential now. Don't. Make sure security is airtight downstairs. We don't want reporters peeking in the windows. Yes, sir. Chantel, get me the itinerary for the Florida and the Midwest events. Right away, sir. Also, the president's called twice. Ah, no doubt. Let me know when Chloe arrives. And you, Frankie boy, seem to be in need of additional training. I'll see you in my office. Get me the caterer. Hello, Henri Catherine. Ah, Monsieur Henri. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but did I not order the premium select petite beluga in Waterford Crystal? Is this family gathering going to be a problem? All part of the plan. Good for the image. I'll give you further instructions on Sunday night. Keep me posted. Yes. Laura, will you later. please just go upstairs and unpack? Open up, Frank. I'm afraid Mr. Hawk doesn't want to be disturbed at the moment. He asked me to have all appointments scheduled through Chantal. Schedule an appointment. That son of a bitch. Laura, wait up. They've moved us to the guest room. What? Your father's assistant has taken over your room. Oh. Oh, damn you, Dad. This is another one of your sick little games! Control! Control! 
control! At least the guest room has a king-sized bed. Laura. Please, MDS was my idea. Even with all the setbacks and the mountains of problems we had to solve, we were this close to making it work when he comes and steals it from me. Everybody thinks he's a hero. And it's a lie. Chloe? Frank! I never knew you cared. Come on! <laughs> Jessica! Oh. Mother! <laughs> She's here. Come on, Frank. Up we go. Good. Be grown up. Everything is up and working. Everything is ready. I can't afford any screw-ups, Frank. I want your full attention this weekend. Yes, sir. I don't think I can go through with this. Bet on it. You're still up? Mm. Pour me one too, will you? Cheers. A votre santé. This is my favorite time. House is quiet, just the two of us. I remember how good that used to be. Margaret, we've all got a busy day tomorrow. I'm going to call it a night. Thank mm -hmm. you.
blade. Get up. Up. Up on your knees. Yes. Good. Very good. Now take your award. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Jump down. Shit. Jump down. Yes, Zach? What can I do for you? I need to talk to you, please. Oh, well, come in, Zach. Gosh, I'm sorry, Zach. I forgot you released the lock. Yeah, yeah, I understand I have to go through you to get an appointment to see my father. Yes, I'm afraid that's true. Let me have a look. Um, no, no. I'm afraid it'll have to be later tonight. I'll let you know, okay? Fine. Now, where were we? Bark like a dog. Bark. No. Very good. One. Now I want some real good howling. Yes. Yes. More. Sounds a bit opera. Uh, uh, I'll call you back. Read Chantal Frank. Damn. Hey. What? Who's been checking me out? Did they find any? Okay, yeah. I'll be careful. I'll try to call you when I know more. You, Frank Chantal. You never intended that I would be a part of your campaign, or that I should go to the White House, did you? Margaret, honestly! Oh. You see a few airplane tickets, and you immediately jump to conclusions. You know perfectly well how much I appreciate everything that you've done. Appreciate. You appreciate that I would like a mother to your children after Elizabeth's suicide. Or is it my cooperation after father's accidents on the boat? I know what you're capable of, Reed. And if you try to leave me behind, so help me. I you know what? <laughs> you won't do anything because you were there every step of the way. You were a vital part of everything that happened. 
And if I go down for that, my dearest sister, you go down with me. And we both worked much too hard to let that happen. <sighs> Haven't we? <laughs> I have plans for you, dearest heart. Oh, you do. Great plans. I have plans for all of us. Backyard, caught him in time, you would have been proud of me. It's gonna take a lot more than that to earn my admiration. How much more? I'll let you know when I'm ready to play Frank. Now let me get some work done. Zach, have you seen Laura? No. Are you gonna stay in here all weekend? What's that you're working on? Oh, a little surprise for Dad. You should be so proud of your father, Zach. Well, he has worked very hard to make this family what it is, and now he could, he could do for this country exactly what he's done for us. Well, yeah, we're, we're just a shining example of American family values, aren't we, Aunt Margaret? I know you two have had your problems, but we need your support now more than ever. Great plans for you, Zach. Well, he has great plans for all of us. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. <laughs> That's it. I'm in. Oh, come on, come on. It'll be fun. Please, come on. Come by around 8. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to see you I'll then. I'll see you then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like I told you, will you give me a couple more days? I'll get you the damn money. Fine. How did it go? Perfection. So? <laughs> what did he say? You know, you were right about power. You got him a not to run. <laughs> He's giving us a hundred million dollars to clean up Jessica, the whole... Jessica, is Reed still running for president? Yes, but the point is that... What's wrong with you? He's giving us enough money to really make a and difference. And you believed him! Martha was drawing up the paper. He is manipulating you like a child. No, he isn't! Jessica, you have sold us out! when you want it to be. <laughs> You've got the perfect body for this dress. <laughs> Hello? 
Chloe. What? Have you seen Laura? Yeah, she's here. Laura, Reed will see you now. Okay. Chloe, can I please have my dress back? You wouldn't want to keep the old bastard waiting. Frank, there you are. Look, I'm getting some glitches on the computer network, and I know Zach brought a laptop with him this weekend. Check it out for me. Do you want him to know about it? You know, it might be better if he wasn't there. Well, I'll wait until he goes for a drink. Perfect. Yeah, I found the laptop. Is there a modem? Yeah, he's got a nice little setup. Hello. Here's something interesting. What did you find? What is it? I found a Polaroid in Laura's purse. So what? It's a picture of Laura and Chloe. <laughs> Shall we say, acting very friendly. Oh, zip up your pants, you big boy. Is there anything else? Sounds like someone's coming. I'll have to check it out later. Over and out. This time at that damn computer. I think I'm losing you. Zack is a very, very lucky young man to have a treasure like you looking out for him. I have known that something was wrong between us, but I couldn't. You certainly have helped pinpoint it. The no question is what to do about it. Well, if you could just find the time to talk to him, let him know how much you appreciate his talent. You are a very beautiful girl. Come on, I want to show you something. Close your eyes. Close no. your eyes, close your eyes. Close Keep them closed. Okay. No peeping now. I've been saving this for you. No, I can't accept these. Why do you have to? I... I gave this... to Zach's mother... the night that he was born. And just before she died... she told me that she... wanted you to have it. So I've just been... you know... Waiting for the right moment to give it to you. I don't think this is it. I'm sorry. Maybe some other time. I understand. I'm sure you're very busy, so I will just be on my way. Of course.
you certainly have uh, gotten older. <laughs> so have you. <laughs> Touche. How about a drink? You read my mind. What would you like to have? Uh, Jack, straight up. <laughs> Grandpa Hawk's old football helmet. Leather. Kinky. <laughs> Here's to you, Mr. President. Do you know, I laid awake in bed every night after the first time you came to my room. Scared. Not knowing. Listening to every sound. Just waiting for that door to creak open. Your breath on my cheek. The weight of your body pushing me down. <laughs> no wonder they threw me out of school. It was the only place I could get any sleep. <laughs> oh, is it good for you, Reed? Fucking your own niece. You little slut. Don't play victim with me. I was 14, 14 years old. You took my life from me, you bastard. When, when I'm done telling my story, you won't get elected as dog catcher in this country. Oh. All right. Oh, what do you want? I want you to pay. Mm. My silence is going to cost you $20 million, Mr. President. <laughs> You're crazy. You're absolutely fucking right. Well, <clears throat> I need a little time to get that kind of money together. On the other hand, I can promise you that if you whisper so much as a word of this to anybody, there will be no place for you to hide. No. For once in my life, I stood up to the bastard. I don't care that he threatened me. Oh man, I'm gonna dance on his grave. Yeah, as soon as I can. All right, I'll see ya. I thought you and whatever his name is had a good thing going. I don't know what we had. What did you just say about my father? Well, it's no big secret that Zach and I have been having problems, and I guess I just thought that if I could talk to Reed about it, get him to give Zach some support, it would help things. And so he's being understanding, and, <laughs> and I think everything is going all right when all of a sudden he oh, steers me into his bedroom and hangs diamonds around my neck. starts touching me. And that son of a bitch did make a pass at me! Look, you want some advice? If you really love that guy, I would grab him and get the hell out of here. This family is completely nuts! I wonder President? I want my project back. I want to be CEO of Hawk Industries. My team's the only one that can make it work, and I'm getting the credit for it this time. You will never be CEO of Hawk Industries. Are you insane? Do you want to play hardball with me, my boy? I will give you your damned project back, and the money to run it. How would you like that? Mm -hmm. Under one condition. We don't make the announcement until after the election. You got a deal? should have let you be a musician because I'll tell you something, if one word of this leaks to the press, you're going to wish you were playing piano bar in Carbondale. Yes. I 
I just heard a conversation that I think you may find very interesting. What's that? I need to tell you in person. I'll come to your office. So, what was this conversation all about? You've been a bad boy. A very bad boy. What the hell are you talking about? The conversation was about your relationship with a certain niece. And Margaret just found out about it. I see. She says she'll destroy you. It's time Margaret and I had a little talk. Would you like my assistance? Maybe. I'll let you know.
Sir, I didn't take your disc. But even if I did, what could you do about it? Frank, one of these days, my dad's going down. And I'm going to be there to watch you go down with him. Yeah, I know. I deserve better. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Maybe I'll call you from the airport. Yeah, I love you. Kisses to Mom. Bye. Secrets. We made a pact a long time ago now, didn't we? Yes, sure. But I, I don't know. <laughs> Dad's championship ring. Supposed to be at the bottom of the bay. Well, now I do have a problem. What to do about you? No, no, I swear to God, Reed, I would never try to hurt Why you. Why would... keep the one thing that would tie me to Daddy's unfortunate death? Hmm? What were you thinking? Oh, well, one time I might need to use it against him if he makes me cross. No, 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 you don't understand. That night on the boat. That night on the boat. His hands were covering my mouth. I couldn't breathe. Holding me down. I tried to bite him and he hit me again and again. And then I heard that sound. Still. I took the ring. I took it so that he could never hurt me with it again. Maggie, it's all right. You know, I told you that I had great plans for you. I think it's time now that you find out what they are. Come on. As a matter of fact, I've had quite enough of you. <laughs> Chantal. Yes, sir? Done and done. We have the press release. We're ready? Yes. Call the local police. Tell them we've had an accident. Ladies and gentlemen, I only have a brief statement to make. As you know, my sister Margaret met with a fatal accident last night, which has left all of us in a state of shock. More than anyone else, Maggie taught me the value of 
hard work, the American dream, and the perseverance that I can hear clearly. You can't turn away from the voice of the people. And so, I have decided to pursue the office of the President of the United States. And I'm dedicating this campaign to the person who was its inspiration. God bless you, man. Character. Perhaps the most valued quality of all great leaders. Reed Hawk, embroiled in personal tragedy, demonstrates how he has emerged as the clear choice of the American people. You the one that called with the stuff on Reed Hawk? So show me the tape. As a matter of fact, I've had quite enough. <laughs> Chantal. Yes, sir. Done and done. We have the press release. We're ready. Yes. Call the local police. Tell them we've had an accident. I never would have thought Reed Hawk was capable of this. But this tape nails him. We'll take it from here. Mr. Hawk, Mr. Hawk, what's your response to these allegations of murder? I categorically deny any and all charges brought against me as a result of this so-called eyewitness. Well, but is this going to change your plans to run for president, sir? I guarantee you that I will clear my name of any and all charges and be back in the forefront of a new movement to bring the power of government back to the people. Well, there you have it. Total denial of all charges. However, special sources inside the police department say that they have the murder scene on tape. Looks like Reed Hawk is finished. But stay tuned for further developments. I know you're watching. <laughs> Don't be shy. It's a natural instinct. A lot of people enjoy it. Would I watch if I had the opportunity? I'd like to say no, absolutely not. But honestly, it does stir emotions deep inside of me. Yeah, I would watch. Close. Compliments of Mr. Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> 